What is going on guys, it's OP Gaming here and I'm going to show you how to get your Galahorn. It's super awesome, super easy, so what you're going to need is this quest called Patrol the Plaguelands. That's how you first start it. It's going to say you're going to have to scan an anomaly. So you're going to just keep on driving straight. I passed a lot of stuff, so just drive straight, go past the Doom Sea and into the Arkham's Keep. And when you see this type of bounty looking thing where it's a scanner... You're going to want to pick that up. That is going to help you. It's going to tell you, hey, you're going to need to scan this thing. Locate and analyze the anomaly. I can't say that word correctly at all. Anyways, so you're going to have to go and it's going to tell you how to go down into this one little area. And when you get down into this little area, you'll notice that there is a door and it's going to say it requires a uh, splicer key in order to ki get a splicer key you just kill lots of enemies we thought it was this person the brood mother and it actually wasn't uh, she gave us something else and I ended up having you know obviously dying and you know brood mother I thought it, she was a special person and so I decided to try to kill her as you know most of us should and I still am currently playing destiny so if you guys hear buttons clicking in the background that's probably the reason why uh, but for splicer keys, um, if you are in a party and you are in patrol, see how that's a splicer intel relay? That's what I thought. And I was just driving around. I was playing with my buddy Carlos, who is crumpling taco, and he got a splicer key and it transferred over to me in patrol. So you want to go back to that door and you're going to want to unlock the glorious grid field of lasers. You're going to keep on traveling down there and you're going to pick up this glorious, fantastic Axe slash hammer. I'm gonna call it the hacks because we be hacks in the place up. Anyways, you're gonna have to fight this guy. He's not that hard, he's just close quarters. And so, uh, you're gonna kill him like all other, you know, devil walkers, and he's gonna blow up just like that. And you're gonna walk behind him and you're gonna scan this glorious environment. And you know, you're going to hold down X or you're going to be square or whatever controls you like doing. Uh, you're going to scan the environment and you're going to go back to talk to Lord Salamander or Lord Salabar, that guy right there. And he's going to give you constantly, you're going to have to talk to him and you're going to have to talk to another lady constantly. And it's just a little annoying that you have to go back. And then he's going to tell you, you're going to have to find parts, he wolf heads. And one of them is in the, one of them is in the, not the tower, but the Iron ba Banner Tower, basically. And it's just at the beginning of the jump puzzle. There is a marker for it if you are close enough for these. I do want to let you guys know in the background, you will see them. This is the very first thing. You jump into patrol. It's going to be in this little building right here. It's going to be easy. But if you guys aim down your scopes and use a sniper rifle, you will actually, and if you're close, you will actually notice that the thing, the the the... What is it called? Oh, the locator beacon. The beacon actually pops up. So this one, you're going to drive just a little bit farther, uh, and you're going to kill the guys on top of this giant bridge. It's going to be in the next section over called Giant's Husk or something like that. And you see how that shows up with my scope, but it doesn't without my scope? That helped me out a lot, and I hope that'll help you guys out immensely. I am going to be showing you guys exactly where all of these are at. Uh, and sorry for that uh, voice crack. I am actually hitting puberty, and it's glorious. So you gotta want to pick up every single one of these. And I we got these all in patrol, and you just keep on driving straight all the way through, and you're gonna be able to notice that you know every single section that it has. See, I'm aiming down, uh, I'm trying to find it. There it is. I'm trying to kill these guys. Every section that you need to find these at are you know obviously in the quest line it'll tell you exactly in the quest line so you just want to just patrol around there for sure and this one's on the bridge you just keep on driving straight you know basically follow the path path of least resistance which is the gallo sparrow the sparrow of galler wings the galler whatever thingamajigger i did get the dead orbit sparrow by the way so it was awesome and yeah, I'm helping out my, my buddy Crumpling and the next one's gonna be in Bunker Triglav or whatever it's called. See, 
me using my little scope. It helps out so much. Uh, so if you guys are having problems with this, um, you know, see, it's right there. Boom, right there. And you can find it instantly. And I feel like I am repeating myself because I stayed up all night, waited for this freaking DLC to drop, and it didn't drop till, uh, well, it did drop, but we had server issues. Instead of Rise of Iron, it was the Rise of Servers not working, right? Uh, this one's just gonna be in this little area right here. It's, you know, if the beacon wasn't there, I honestly would have never been able to find these at all. I'm gonna give you that tidbit right there. Uh, and then it's going to tell you go to Sector 6. Sector 6 is basically when you first went in, you had to go down and kill that tank. That with that grid line of beams, fence, it's in that room. So look, Site 6, it's not Grid 6 or, or I don't know whatever I said. Use your scope, scope it in. If you have a buddy, it makes it a whole lot easier. You collect all of them. It didn't, this whole quest took me and Taco maybe two hours, an hour and a half minimum. And so you're gonna wanna talk to these people constantly, going back and forth, back and forth, and it kinda sucks. And when you talk to this lady, she's gonna be like, oh, awesome, well, here you go, you're gonna need to do a different part of this mission. And you're like, oh, okay, I can do that. One of the parts of this mission, I will warn you, you have to find five of those SIVA little thingamajiggers, right? This is a different mission, um, and you're actually in the Bannerfall Tower, and you're you're building you're building your very own Gallerhorn or Galerhorn, according to a, a GameStop employee I was talking to earlier. <laughs> he, he, you can get your Galerhorn, and I was like, oh, glorious! So the the concept of this mission is you're gonna build, and all of a sudden the fallen are gonna show up, and they're gonna plant bombs, and you're gonna want to defend you little ghost against bombs uh having two people three people is recommended two people is pretty easy uh as you see right here we're just running around i'm like you take left i take right and i end up taking right and left and backwards and frontwards and punching and scanning and all this type of gloriousness uh and yeah it's a, it's it was really fun to play on this other than with dying from crucible all the time this was us able to, uh, you know, take out the very end boss. He's like, I will murder all of you. And you're like, okay, Gloria. So after you get done disarming two of the bombs, you can just, you know, kill these guys. And if you guys are wondering what kind of sword that is, you actually get that as soon as you basically log on, basically. So don't worry about that. You will get that, and it is an exotic sword. It's super awesome. I enjoy it thoroughly. Uh... And so this guy, he doesn't take too long. You can actually pop a three of coins on him. And I believe, I believe you can pop a three of coins on him. We did, we did not get anything, but our three of coins went away. So I'm guessing that's what it's, what it, you know, what it does. Um, but you know what they say, teamwork makes the freaking dream work. And if you, you got to tactically dodge bullets all the time, otherwise known as teabagging the enemy, uh, Anyways, the last mission, <laughs> the last mission, before that, you have to collect five of those uh, silv si Siva fragments. And I will put a link in the description down below on a forum of a guy who comp compiled a lot of things together. But you're watching this cutscene because the last mission, I don't really want to spoil it, but I do want to let you guys know it is freaking amazing. Uh, it's as amazing as this cutscene you are just... Two people, it was a little hard, let's just say that, and you're just going to have to fight. Fight and win, and it's glorious. But anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of this awesome cutscene. It was freaking glorious. Enjoy this game. Enjoy your Gallahorn or your black or iron Gallahorn. and I, I hope you guys get it done super fast. I hope this video helped you out. If I was a little vague in a lot of stuff, it's because I am bloody tired. And if you just leave a comment down below, and I will be able to help you guys out as much as possible. And as always, guys, like and subscribe, and I shall see you later, sucker fish.